the Shalom Israel. I'm Yadakai. Uh, first off, I just want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem El Shah. I want to send double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. I want to say peace and blessings to the sincere Akim that's pushing the word. Uh, I just want to do a quick lesson and bring out a few uh, scriptures just on the concept of uh, coming to remembrance or remembering, you know, the things of the former age, you know, because we're in a society that's run by the devil, the, the Edomites, the so-called white man, if you will, who always teach, uh, so, who always basically come at so-called Negroes, Latinos with that forgive and forget, you know, uh, mantra, because they don't want us to remember all the hell, oppression, you know, wickedness that they put on our people. But the Most High, through count, count the scriptures in the Bible, he, he's always calling on the nation of Israel to remember. So I just want to get a few scriptures to just hinge on that point. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be edifying to the brothers. Uh, the first scripture is in uh, Malachi, the third chapter. I'll start at the 16th verse. It says, Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another in the way uh, that the men that feared the Lord were speaking one to another is when we posting up videos from when we out on the highways and the byways preaching off we doing you know different shows that brothers put up you know that's the way that the men of the Lord the hopeful elect that fear the Lord that's how we speak one to another at this time you know it says and the Lord and the Lord hearkened and heard it and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that and that thought upon his name you know so also, we, we throughout, you, you know, through preaching on the highways and the byways, we're basically uh, casting out a net for the elect men to be sealed up so they can uh, know the name of the Heavenly Father and come out and teach so we can be sealed up and be delivered out of here. You know, that's what it's all about. You know, basically uh, waking up the elect, man, bringing them back to remembrance of the things uh, uh, that they knew in the form of time, you know, and which brings me to the next scripture. Uh, it's in the book of let's see it's in the book of Isaiah uh, 46 and 8 it says remember this and show yourselves men bring it again to mind O ye transgressors you know so that shows that uh, the men that are here today you know we're the same men that were doing uh, what we were doing today in, in, in previous uh, times you know because I got another scripture you know I'm going to just jump to this uh, you have a term in uh, that's always used that says uh, history repeats itself and the reason why is because you have the same people on earth playing out the same things that they did in previous times you know that's why it's important to, to know and understand the things that happened before to basically remember those things you know not forget you know uh, this scripture I want to get right here just bear with me real quick brothers it's in 1 Corinthians uh, 14 and um, 1 Corinthians 14 and 32 and it says and the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets so even the prophets you know they gonna stand in their lot also the same prophets that was back in previous empires you know those same prophets are here today you know so that's why you know it's an always important to remember you know remember bring your mind back to remembrance Remember the, the, the countless examples of faith that the Most High showed in great men, you know, that basically were faithful and obedient, you know, when they were faced with trying situations and, and had faith in the Most High and they were delivered out of those situations, you know. Uh, brings me to another scripture I want to get. It's in the book of Job. Uh, just bear with me a quick. Well, this is Job the eighth chapter. It says, Job eight and eight for our Salaki for inquire, I pray thee of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of thy fathers. You know, so you're supposed to always inquire about your history, about things that happened in the past, to remember, not forget. You know, because basically those the things that happened in the past they can serve it as an example of how you live in your life now and how to conduct how to conduct your Satan how to conduct yourself now to be saved or delivered out of the peril that's to come now and that's all that's coming to America man and to the earth as we know it is complete peril and hell and I'm, I'm gonna jump to this scripture I know we always go into it but the scriptures it's, it's very important you know as all the scriptures are uh, this is Romans 15 and 4 it says 
For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scripture might have hope. So, you know, us reading examples of, of, of great men in the Bible that showed uh, uh, faith and obedience in the Most High, seeing how they were saved, that should basically instill our hope, you know. That's why we can use those things of ex as an example today to live a, a complete uh, life of righteousness and serving the Most High to the best of our ability, you know. Uh, I want to get this here in Ecclesiastes. I'm actually going to jump back. This is Ecclesiastes uh, 12, and, and, and I'll start at the top. It says, Remember now, thy Creator, in the days of, the, of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor, nor, the, nor the years draw not. You know, it says, remember thy creator in the days of thy youth. You know, so right now we're in a situation where most of our people, they, they don't consider that there is a heavenly power that has the ability to save them uh, out of predicament that they're in. A heavenly power that created the heavens and the earth that controls the issues of life and death, man. Our people are caught up into all this different idolatry, you know. Worship the work, worshiping themselves, worshiping uh, women, worshiping money, and ultimately the so called white man, which is the devil, you know, not basically understanding that there's a, a heavenly power, you know, that controls everything and, and is responsible for the predicament and condition that they're in now, you know. So that's what the men of the Lord we're set up to do bring our people's uh, mind and spirit back to remembrance, man, uh, mostly so the elect can be sealed so we can get out of here, you know. Because two-thirds of our people, they're going to be destroyed. You know? Uh, I want to get one more scripture. You know, because uh, in this uh, country, mostly in America, uh, the nation of Israel, whenever you want to talk about the, the hell and all the negativity that the so-called white man brought to the earth, people want you to forget. But the Most High is not a man that he forgets. And I'm about to get it right here in Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. I'll start at the 15th verse. It says, That which hath been is now... And that which is to be already been, and the Most High required that which is past. You know, so we serve a power. He requires that which is past, man. The Most High is not uh, forgetting any wickedness, even if it happened in the past, man. It ain't, it ain't no statue of limitations on nothing with the Most High, man. The Most High requires that which is past, especially wicked deeds that have been played out, man. You know. So the so-called white man, all these other nations in previous times that put hell on the nation of Israel, the Most High requires those things. So that's important why we should always want to remember, bring ourselves back to remembrance of everything, man. You know, just also understanding that we are holy people and basically reminding ourselves that we need to get back in the in the ways and in 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 in, in, the, in the ways of, of our standard of our heavenly power, man. Remembering our, our laws and in the ways of our righteousness according to the Bible man, you know Because right now we don't have the laws in our inward parts. So we always have to uh, be uh, constantly reminded You know the things of our forefather of things of the former age, you know So uh, hopefully, you know that was edifying. I just want to bring out a few scriptures uh, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh uh Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and I just want to say peace and uh, blessings to the sincere Akim that's pushing the word. And with that, I just want to say shalom, Akim. <laughs>